Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to go over profit and loss statements and balance sheets and how they can help you with your childcare business. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information is not intended to create, and receipt does not constitute, an attorney-client, or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. As we move through this presentation, you will learn about the definition and importance of both profit and loss statement and balance sheets, how to calculate and create each document, and which one you will use. As a business owner, there are many valuable financial reports you can create, but two of the most critical are a profit and loss statement, also called an income statement or a statement of operations, and a balance sheet. They both serve different complementary functions, so understanding both can provide a stronger sense of how your child care business is doing financially. The profit and loss, or P&L statement, shows your revenue and expenses and generates a net profit for a specific time period. The balance sheet provides a snapshot of the value of the business by presenting the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity. Let's dig a little deeper into both of these reports to learn how they can help you as a business owner or director. In its most basic form, the profit and loss statement shows the profitability of the business for a set time period. The time period can be for the year, quarter, month, or even a day, whatever you need to understand. Profit is how much you are making from the business. Loss is how much you are losing on the business. You calculate the profit or loss by taking all the revenue, which is how much you took into the business in that period, and subtracting the expenses. The result is either a profit, when your revenue exceeds your expenses, or a loss, when your expenses exceed your revenue. It can be most helpful to not only look at the P and L for one period, but to have a similar period to compare it to. For example, if you look at the monthly P and L for February, you might also compare it to January to see if you are more or less profitable. In addition, the P and L statement can show you more than just profit. Since it is broken up by category of revenue and expenses, you can get a sense of where changes in expenses or revenues are affecting your business. Let's look at a more detailed example from Luz's childcare business. Here is our P and L for quarters 1 and 2. By comparing the two quarters, Luz can learn some interesting things about her business. Our revenue stayed the same from quarter 1 to 2. However, our expenses went up by 12%, resulting in a profit that was 38% lower. Looking at the expenses, Luz found that her rent and utilities doubled. She had no explanation as to why. Once she investigated, she found that a broken pipe was leaking and running up her water costs. What is the balance sheet? Where the profit and loss shows the performance of the business over a period of time, such as a year, quarter, or month, the balance sheet focuses on the state of your business on a given date. The balance sheet has three components. Assets cash, accounts receivable, or the money that is owed to you, liabilities, overhead debt, accounts payable, or the money that you owe others, owner's equity, total assets minus liabilities, or your net value. The balance sheet lets you know how healthy your business is since it shows you a picture of revenue, debt, and how much money you are taking out of the business. The balance sheet gets its name from being in balance, specifically the owner's equity equals the total assets minus liabilities. This is your net value. Let's look at Luz's balance sheet for last week. In this case, Luz has a good amount of assets, including cash in her bank account and funds receivable. She owes some money on her credit card and has a business loan, but even with those debts, she would still have $7,000 left over in earnings. That is, assets of $14,500 minus liabilities of $7,500 equals $7,000. Which one should I use? Both, the P&L, balance sheet, and your cash flow statement, provide a holistic view of your business's health. Remember, the data is only as good as what you enter into your accounting system, so it's worth ensuring you have a good record-keeping system you can rely on and trust. For more information, visit the DECAL Thriving Child Care Business Academy website. If you have questions about the Academy, send them to the email address on the screen.